Say hey, Summer. Hey. Hey, everybody. This is my daughter, and we're back for the focaccia bread recipe. Hey. <laughs> that's my little, that's my, mm, I love you. That's my daughter. Oh, Coraline, come over here and say hey. Hello. Coraline wanted to say hey. Hello. Destiny, you want to say hey? Hey. Hello. Ring. <laughs> my daughter tried this focaccia bread. Summer, tell them what you think. It's delicious. It it's is. really herby and just like, I don't know, zesty. Don't give me acid reflux, but yeah, it has tomatoes on it. And it's per perfect. It's perfect for me. Oh, I love you. Mm. Mm. Okay, so the bread has risen for the second time for only 30 minutes, and Summer's trying to get food in here. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take, with very clean hands, you're going to take your fingertips, and you're just going to go halfway. You're going to dimple it. You're going to put these little indentions in. See, like that? Now, the original, original, <laughs> I don't know if that's even uh, a real <laughs> sentence, but the original uh, focaccia recipe is just rosemary, salt, and olive oil. And you can certainly do that if you don't want all this. I'm actually going to make one, and I'll make a video and show you that how I'm doing that one. But today, we're just going to make it really uh, unique and amazing and as you just heard from my daughter, and I got to tell y'all, she is so picky. So for her to say this is excellent, oh, that, that's like golden prize right there. So you want your focaccia uh, dough to look like that. Now we're going to take the remaining of our 10 tablespoons of olive oil, and we're going to drizzle it. And you know what, guys? I'm going to have to get some more. I'll be right back. Let me just grab some more because you have to have a lot of olive oil for this, and that's okay, but I'm going to measure it so that I don't waste it. So we're just gonna do, just gonna, now when you're putting it on here after you dimple it, you don't really have a, an amount set, so just take a little at a time and do it so you don't waste your olive oil, but you do need quite a bit. Because olive oil, I'm telling you, I know I said it once, I said it again, it's like liquid gold. Like, it, it's expensive. And you don't want to waste it. So, the, as you can see, the olive oil just goes in the little dimples so nicely. And it really, it just looks beautiful. Now, I'm just going to take some salt, and I'm going to just put salt to taste. Now I'm going to add my uh, grape tomatoes, and I'm just going to put them in various places. My daughter, I have uh, another batch of this made, and she tried it, and she went nuts. She's actually taking the whole batch home with her tonight, and uh, she's going to have that for dinner. She's cooking something for dinner. What are you cooking for dinner tonight, baby? I have no clue yet, honestly. Something with chicken in it. Well, she said... And that chicken Santa Fe chicken soup or something like that, maybe. That, that uh, focaccia bread will be delicious with that, you know yeah, what? it's going to be really good. Really, really good. So I laid um, my tomatoes out accordingly, and now I'm going to lay my Kalamata olives out. I've never in my life had olives, actual olives in bread until now, and i got to tell you all, it's, it's amazing. And, you know, most of you... That, you know, I know you know that olives are so good for you. This bread is actually not just only delicious, but it's actually healthy. So I'm just going to lay and see. I, I've selected the perfect amount. This is not too much, and it's not too little. Thank you for being so patient with me. Let me grab a... Just need to grab a paper towel to wipe my hands off. Now I'm going to take the mozzarella cheese, and I'm going to just put it in various places, like so. Isn't that gorgeous? It's starting to already turn out to be gorgeous. Now, if you just want to do the rosemary, salt, and olive oil, the only thing you would be doing was putting the, would be putting your salt and olive oil, uh, olive oil first, salt, and then the rosemary, and then you'd bake it. But, um, give me one second. I got to preheat my oven. Ooh, I almost forgot. Now, you're going to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So, this cheese 
is going to go all through my bread because when you bake it and then you cut it, it's really cheesy and it just really just adds this wonderful, just decadent flavor to the focaccia bread. It's It really warms it up. It just gives it, it's just really nice. I just, I really like the cheese added to it. And like I said, if you just want something light, you could just make this just your meal, which it, I mean, it, it's a meal in itself, but it's also, you can serve it with uh, Italian dishes. Like my daughter said, she's probably going to make her some Santa Fe soup tonight and uh, or something with chicken in it, and uh, it'll be great. Um, the other batch that I made for her. <clears throat> and I'm just putting my cheese in random places. They don't have to be in any particular order or any particular place. Just want to get all the little pieces that I've cut up in there so they don't they don't go to waste. Here's the one teaspoon of oregano. I'm just going to shake it about. I love this herb because it's so herb herbaceous. The one teaspoon of herbs de Provence. I absolutely love herbs de Provence. It's such, it's so, it's so delicious. My one tablespoon of thyme, excuse me, rosemary, not thyme. I was thinking about thyme because I wanted to grow some thyme and I wasn't able to this year. This is rosemary. Please forgive me. One tablespoon of rosemary. Do not put one tablespoon of thyme. Put one tablespoon of rosemary. And then this is one tablespoon of basil that I grew myself in a pot and then I harvested it. And then I dried it out, and I put it in a bottle, and I love it. See? Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Ah. Mmm. Oh, oh, it smells so good. I love the basil that I grow. And mine's organic, so I grow organically, and uh, it's just been very enjoyable. I, I love growing. I cannot wait to get out of this apartment <laughs> and into a house. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit more salt on top. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. And for good measure, because the olive oil is what helps this all come together, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more olive oil. This is roughly about a tablespoon. I'm going to put this in a preheated oven of 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to bake it for only 18 minutes is all I need. If you need to bake it for 19 minutes, that's fine too. Don't go over 20 minutes or it could burn. But a good 18 to 19 minutes will be great. Um, I'm not going to keep this rolling. I'm going to bring you back as soon as this gets done, and you can see how lovely this is. But isn't this just lovely? And I got to tell y'all, it's absolutely delicious. I will be making another um, video where it's a lot less, where it's just the the most original focaccia bread. I can't wait to show you that one, and I can't wait to try it myself. But this is amazing. So I'm going to stick this in the oven, guys, and I'll be back. Peace and love, and I love all y'all. And thank you so very much for your patience for my background noise. You know, the kids are here. The dog's here. He's playing with the kids. Summer's here. They're all having a great time. Thank you for uh, just overlooking my background noise. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I... My um, videos, none of them are scripted. None of them are edited. I don't even have an editing system. So if something messes up, it messes up. And I can either post it or not. <laughs> so I just want you to know how much I really appreciate it. I do everything in real time. What you see is what you get. This is how we live. And I really appreciate all of y'all being so sweet and so kind and so patient. And I really want you to know how much I appreciate the sweet comments that I get all the time. I, I never get any hateful comments, and I really appreciate that. And it just proves what I'm saying is true about the law of attraction. You know, and, and, and you know, I think love, and I get love. And I get a lot of love from you guys and gals, and I really love all of y'all. And i, I got to tell you this before I go. All of you from other countries, I am so honored that you are here. You are so fascinating to me. 
I really love all you guys and gals. And uh, I'm going to bring you back very soon. And I'm actually going to see if my daughter will be in the video with me when I take it out of the oven. Peace and love.